We wanted to share our findings about champion trees in Bismarck, their history and their stories. Nancy and I have worked on this project since last January with the city forestry department. And so we ran all over town for a year looking for the biggest trees in Bismarck. And we wanted to share that information with people. We want them to be excited mm -hmm. about it too and to love their trees and, and to help us find big ones too and also to plant more and take care of them. The is a champion tree. A champion tree is the biggest of its species. And so while we have a lot of of American elm trees, for example, here in Bismarck. A champion tree would be the largest one in the city of Bismarck. And so we were looking for the largest trees of five species. Uh, we were looking for um, American elm, linden, ash, oak, and cottonwood trees. We picked those because those are native species of North Dakota. Okay. How many did you all find? Oh, we found many, but we took the we took a, the ten of each species that had the biggest, and it wasn't um, we couldn't go by the tallest. We had to do the uh, circumference of it. We had to do well the, the height of it. We had to do uh, you know, canopy too. So um, when you put all those together, then it uh, showed us, uh, you know. The largest tree. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the oldest tree is not the largest tree. A whole row of trees can be planted at the same time. But the DNA of a tree, what makes it grow large or small, is just in the tree when you plant it. And so you can you and your neighbor might plant a tree at the very same time. But yeah, your tree might be here. much, much bigger yeah, just because it had those growth DNA home. in it. And also, um, it would also be the environment and whether you get enough water or, or sunshine, too. So um, you can help the tree by opening up spaces for it. Now, when you say many trees to found, are you able to provide a number of them? Okay, so on this sheet, for example, we have listed the five top trees of each species, all right, that we found. So although we, <clears throat> although we measured trees all over the city, I'd say we measured well over 100 different trees. Then we picked the ones that were the largest to list on this champion sheet. And people can find this on the city of Bismarck under the forestry department under data and also by entering the search word champion tree. Then they can come, come up with this list of these champions and look for themselves the, their addresses are on this sheet, and there's also a brochure so they can drive around town and find these trees. Okay, now with these trees, you all found, um, how old were some of these trees? Hmm, they're really, well, we know the age of them by uh, when they were planted in the city, when the city promoted planting trees, but also um, a lot of the trees disappeared along the river because they used them for fuel. For the, um, the bowls, um, age is kind of uh, as the city expanded and the trees were planted. You would have to go by that. So we found trees that were planted. We knew from around 1913 to 1916 in the cathedral area and the areas around the library and the old governor's residence. We know that that house was built in 1884, so that could have some trees that date from that time on that property. Uh, we also know that neighborhoods just east and west of the capital were developed in the 1950s, and so we know the trees are about 70 years old that are in that neighborhood. So that's how we know how old the trees are that we're measuring. Okay. All right. So, how can you uh, take care of these trees or keep these trees in trouble? Well, you know, we've had uh, drought here. So, many trees have been in trouble. And so, they pick up diseases. And um, with the drought, that's been even worse for them. And so, many have had, well, like taken down, and 250 city? trees. And these are down. just the little yeah. trees. You know, some yeah. people yeah. in their yards yeah. have had to take them down for the same thing. But um, it invites things to hurt them. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
parasites, whatever. But um, to take care of them, you know, if you can, if you can water um, your grasses in consequence, it's, it's that tree that you want to um, create property for, for shade and just for the um, Don't forget to change your battery. The beauty <laughs> of your uh, property. Yes. So, um, watering and trimming off things that break, and um, just just keeping it uh, safe by doing these things. And you could call the city forester if you have uh, questions about your tree and its health and how you can improve the health of that tree. Be sure to call the city forester. All right. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? No. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.